Oh my gosh, Kudo-kun, you're releasing a video on a side of a Naruto video. When's the next Naruto video? Tomorrow. We're, we're doing something different today. If you're shocked at the huge amount of time in between videos in a series that I make, welcome to the channel. You're probably new. Thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, but today we're doing something a little bit special. So if you've been here for a little while, you know that uh, one of the things that I hate more than anything are unboxing videos. In my personal opinion, they are the lowest form of entertainment when it comes to getting some kind of game of any kind. Uh, and today we're doing an unboxing video, but not just any unboxing video. Today is very special. Allow me to set the scene for you. As true Kudokun fans know, I am actually a huge fan of board games. I got really into them over this last decade or so, and they are probably my personal favorite form of entertainment at the moment. It's board games, video games, and then card games, which I know is going to blow some people's minds because I seem like a card game guy, but card games require more than one person, and oftentimes I am alone. Know what else I'm a big fan of? Monster Hunter. And so when there was a Monster Hunter co-op RPG style board game announced, I could not jump on it fast enough. The game, however, is in, let's be charitable and say, rough shape. Not only were there huge delays in the game actually being finished and then released, but there have been huge delays within the shipping, and people who have gotten their shipments have been commenting on the Kickstarter page about uh, some fairly big problems. So we've got broken figurines, we've got missing components, some components as large as entire decks of cards not being included in the shipping packages. Speaking of missing components, uh, there are some figures who somehow were shipped without pieces, such as their weapons being attached, their heads not being attached, all kinds of beautiful, juicy problems that you would think a game that was delayed so heavily wouldn't go through, but here we are. I honestly think this comes down to the fact that Steamforged Games, the company that released this game, runs like 80 different Kickstarters at once, so quality assurance, not always assured. And then my favorite part of this entire thing, through all of these other problems, they announce, while half of the backers haven't received their copy nonetheless, they announce the next Kickstarter project for the Monster Hunter universe. And on top of all of the other problems that could arise from this, the next Monster Hunter board game series is not going to be compatible with this series. So if you went all in and got all the uh, optional stuff for the Monster Hunter board game, it's going to be outdated as soon as the next one comes out. <sighs> I love it. <laughs> now, the reason that they say that they are releasing the next Kickstarter so early is because it's in the schedule. They were scheduled to release it, and they can't delay it. Okay. Finishing the game, we can delay that. Shipping the game, we can delay that. Answering customer support tickets about all of these missing components and broken components. A little bit of a delay. But the next round of money collection, why that needs to happen next month, is on the calendar, guys. We gotta do that next month. Our, ha our hands are tied on this one. We, we just gotta do it. Now, what really truly fascinates me about this, all of this, is that there are shockingly few videos going up about this. You would think a game like this, with so many issues, would have a little bit more YouTube coverage, and I'm a little bit cynical when it comes to this because I'm actually in this space. I know how YouTuber relationships with companies works, and uh, I've... I know I know some of the back scene stuff that a lot of uh, people who just watch YouTube videos and don't actually make YouTube videos actually know. And one of the problems I have is that 
because of relationships between YouTubers and game publishers and developers, uh, there's some kind of shady stuff that goes on. For one thing, a lot of the people who receive these games directly from the developers and publishers um, do have a, an intense amount of quality assurance because the companies know that these YouTubers are going to be opening up their stuff on like a stream or a YouTube video. So they make sure that theirs is in pristine condition so that other people don't worry about uh, buying and getting all of these uh, issues. <laughs> now, luckily for me, despite the fact that I am also a YouTuber, I have no connection to anybody within the board gaming space. In fact, a lot of people don't even know I'm into board games. So since Steamforged has absolutely no idea who I am, I am one of the few YouTubers who can actually release a video about the Monster Hunter Kickstarter board game experience. And there is zero chance that not only will the company know who I am beforehand, but they will have in any way given me anything different than a regular consumer would get. So I want to check for myself and see if any of this stuff is as bad as people say. And if it's not, then I'm going to be completely honest about it, and we will clear Steamforged of all of these wrongful accusations they're getting. Maybe it really is just a really loud minority of people who are complaining about all of this stuff. But when you check the comments, even people who are really happy with their stuff are saying things like, yeah, uh, my figure was actually broken off of its base in the box, but I mean, I could just fix that myself. I don't know why people are complaining. <laughs> I digress. If there's absolutely nothing wrong with the stuff that we're about to take out of the boxes here, then I, I just have to be honest about it and say, I can't complain. None of my stuff was in near as bad a condition as the people who are complaining on the Kickstarter page. But if there is anything wrong, then I would like to document that for you here. And I think this will be a pretty fun little thing for us to go through together. So I've talked long enough. Let's go ahead and get into the first box. Man, guys, I sure hope you're as excited as I am. Let's go ahead and get started. I already have both of the boxes open, and unfortunately, I won't be able to show you the inside of the boxes because of my shoddy camera setup. But uh, we're going to pull these boxes out one at a time. I'm going to go ahead and start with the core boxes themselves, and we'll see what we got. All right. I have heard some stories about crushed boxes, but honestly... Uh, this looks pretty good. I'm not seeing any real issues here. Um, I'm checking all the sides here. Nothing nothing really major. So let's go ahead and get into this bad boy. Alrighty, so we got ourselves the inserts. Um, I've always, always kind of liked these things here. That's kind of cute. It's got a little storage thing on the back. Um, oh, this is in pieces. Okay, really hoping that this doesn't need to be glued together. Let's just see what... Okay, so sadly, I think we've run into our first problem. Um, I don't know if this is going to catch up on camera, but this wing gear, uh, it just doesn't fit. Like, I've actually been fiddling with this for uh, a few minutes now, and um, I'm really worried that if I shove it in any harder than I currently am, because I'm putting a lot of force into this. This isn't, this isn't me... Uh, being delicate by any stretch of the imagination, and it legitimately just isn't going all the way in. Um, I mean, I like, let's be real here. It's not like the biggest issue in the world, but again, uh, I, I don't think, I don't think you should just accept problems when they come in just because they aren't that big of a deal. You know, you pay for, you pay for an experience and you expect to get the full experience, but this, this wing, it just, it just isn't built correctly. It's not, it's not going all the way into the base. And this is especially irritating because um, I think the way that this is set up uh, is you're supposed to take the wings off and put them back in the box and then put the figure back into the box here every single time you pull this game out and you need to use the Raffalos for something, um, which is a little bit annoying. I'm just going to say um, really feel like either the model should have just been complete or if it was going to be something that you have to constantly take apart and put back together that it should have been uh, a little bit a little bit better built but that's okay another thing i want to say um the rathalos is very clearly off of its base um again 
I don't think stuff like this is necessarily acceptable, but this is something that if I just got a little bit of crazy glue or Gorilla Glue or something and put it in that hole, um, I don't think this is going to be an issue in the future. But, you know, I can't, I can't understand if people get a little bit upset about that. Okay, got ourselves a Jogras here on the base. Everything's cool. And god dang, man. I mean, you could complain about Steamforged Games games all you want, but the one thing that you can't say is they definitely have some of the coolest miniatures on the market. I mean, really, there's so much detail that goes into these little figures here, and I'm such a gigantic slut for nice-looking figures that it's really hard to not get super excited about Steamforged game games. Like, the, <laughs> the Dark Souls board game has got to be one of the worst made games that I have ever seen made by a big professional company like this. And when they re-released all of the Steamforged Vault, uh, as they call it, expansions, even I got really excited for it. <laughs> so even even with their worst games, like the you can at least say that the models are exquisite. And I think these are some really nice looking models. Okay, so every model has been checked um, so far. Really, the Rathalos is the only thing that I have any real issues with. All of the other models are on their base. I've also heard a little bit about um, some of the sharper bits, like the claws here, for example, being sanded down a little bit or just being worn down. Um, I'm not seeing anything like that. It doesn't look like any of these models are missing any pieces. So we're going to go ahead and just assume that outside of the Rathalos problems, everything else is good. All right, here are the actual game components of the game. Um, I'm not seeing anything major here. I think we're good. Let's go ahead and check everything else The books out. are in really nice condition, as I expected them to be. Uh, however, if you, if you happen to not know, there are a huge amount of erratas and stuff that have gone into these books here. Um, some of the weapon materials and stuff, for example, that you need to build some of the weapons literally just don't exist within the game, <laughs> which is a huge problem, as you can probably imagine. Um, some of the rules got changed around. Some of the monster stats have been changed around. Um, a lot of things that really should have been issued out, uh, ironed out, I should say, with a game as big as this. But what do you I also want to say for the sake of transparency that they have already announced that they're going to be sending out uh, free eroded uh, materials to everybody who backed the game which on the one hand is extremely cool of them i'm really happy that they're doing that they're not charging anybody for shipping they're not charging anybody for the actual components themselves but also it kind of feels like they're doing that to appease people so they'll be more willing to back when uh the next monster hunter thing comes out in a few weeks so i mean you could be cynical about it or you could see it as a really cool thing uh i'm a little bit in the middle so these sheets here look good, remind me of the Kingdom Death ones. Here are these, that looks good. Um, I've got a couple of empty spaces here. I'm really, I'm crossing my fingers real hard here that that doesn't mean that there are missing decks because like I said before, that has been an issue. People have gotten uh, <laughs> copies of this game and literally entire decks of cards have been missing. So. We're going to double check, but I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and say that these are supposed to be empty here. Okay, the dice, the figures are the thing I'm really interested in. Looks like sword and shield is good. Dual blades is good. Bow and arrow looks good. Okay, great sword. Come on, man. Also looks good. Okay, so... None of my figures are missing heads, none of them are missing weapons or smaller components. Um, it's usually pretty easy to tell when something has fallen off of a figure, so, um, you know, I'm just going to say that everything here is good. Okay, so I did a personal check through all the components. I, I don't think anything is missing. I think I was correct in assuming that those spaces are just open for card sorting. Um, so... Of course, uh, we are only on the first box here, but so far everything looks really good. Again, outside of those minor Rathalos problems, um, everything looks perfect in this box. Okay, so we're checking out the second core box here. Um, if you don't know how this works, basically there are two different core sets you can get depending on which monsters you want to fight and which weapons you want to use. Um, of course, I'm an all-in backer, so I got both of them. And we're going to check out the other base game now. Got more wings. Oh, gosh darn it. <laughs> I'm really hoping these ones are okay. 
So again, we got a cute little insert here. I know you guys don't care, but I care. I think these things are, are really cute. All right, let's get this guy put back together. Let's... Okay, so I want to say right off the bat that um, he's not off of the base at all. And gosh darn it, he's so freaking cool. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stop praising them for how cool these figures are. The, these just it looks fantastic. Um, nothing seems to be damaged here. Um, there's even little details going on in the mouth. Ah, Steam Forged. You know, just what I like. Alrighty, we're gonna go ahead and put this guy together here. Uh, ooh, that went in shockingly easily. Okay, so again, um, I've been at this for a few minutes now, and one of the wings, it's just, it, it feels like the plastic that's supposed to hold it in is just a little bit too big. This side went in perfectly, um, and it it's almost seamless. But this side is just, it's there's such an obvious gap here that isn't supposed to be here. And it doesn't it doesn't feel like it's going in as as well as it should. There's a really, really obvious seam on this side, but also like I'm I'm pushing into it with with all of my might here. And I know I'm a spindly armed little nerd kid here, but I feel like it should be going in all the way and it's not going in all the way. I just, I feel like maybe the component itself, like the, the part that's supposed to go into the wing was just, it was just a little bit too big. Um, I think the best fix for something like this would just be to sand it down a little bit, maybe. Um, and then maybe once you make it a little bit smaller, if you make it a bit too small, you could just glue it in and then have it in all the way. But I'm pretty sure, you know, from what I can see from the packaging, you're meant to, every time you play with the Diablos, um, take away, take apart his wings and put them back in the box separately. So if, if that was the intention, I, I really don't think they nailed it. You're lucky you're cute, Diablos. Okay, checking the other models here. Um, looks like good old Bathy here is completely fine. He's not off the base at all. Looks good. Nothing sanded down. He is uh, the Barath is my absolute most hated monster in all of Monster Hunter, so I would have been okay if he were broken a little bit, but okay. Why give me anything that I want, huh? Looks like Ketsu is also fine. He almost looks a little bit melted, but I'm pretty sure that's an intentional effect. Yeah, got okay here. Um, he looks fine, too. He's not off the base. Uh, yeah, I think everything's relatively fine. This box is pretty much exactly the same as the uh, ancient, whatever it's called, the ancient forest box, but um, with the exception of he was actually on his base, so... Um, so, yeah, I mean, everything's on its base. The only real problem I have is, again, I just, I don't think uh, the wings were printed correctly on uh, good old Diablos and Rathlos. Moving on here, components look good. Nothing's coming out. All these other little components here are good, I'm sure, aside from some of the misprints. Go ahead and take a look at the figures here. All right, looks like which axe is good. Check me a second, because it looks like um, Kinsect is supposed to be holding something, but it looks like it's just the Kinsect on his arms, why he has it extended out like this. Uh, this is a very sharp piece, but nothing is damaged. It's in really good condition. Charge Blade also looks good. Not seeing any issues with the Hunter figures whatsoever. And Heavy Bow Gun is also good. Okay. Good job, guys. All right, and when it comes to the decks of cards, they're all really well put in here. Um, like I said before, I think the two spaces here are intentional for sorting purposes, but I'm going to put everything back in and do a quick check for myself to make sure that I have all of the decks that I'm supposed to. Alrighty, guys, so I did my check with all of the decks and stuff here, too. Um, it looks like I have everything, and uh, yeah, once again, um, it looks like this base set is pretty much in pristine condition um outside of that one problem with the diablos i think we're good okay and so we are down to our last box in the first um little half of our shipment here um this should have both the um kulu yaku and also all of the stretch goals and basically all the super fancy fancy stuff we got for donating to the kickstarter okay so we got a cute little rule book here specifically for the Kula. 
Looks neat. Got all of his little pieces here, and then underneath here should be all of the Kickstarter exclusive stuff. But let's go ahead and take a look at all these guys here first. So from what I can remember, these figures here um, are basically uh, alternate casts for some of the other characters. Um, you've got some things that don't normally require a figure, but they are included, like little Poogie here. If you happen to not know about the Monster Hunter universe, this is basically like a little pig that you keep as a pet, and you can dress him up in cute clothes, which is awesome. Got some little Palico hunters here. Uh, this one's dressed up in the Rathalos outfit, and this one, I don't remember. It's the snow outfit, but I cannot remember which monster drops the snow outfit. Um, but... I digress. Basically, um, you've got these little Palico Hunters here, which normally I think are represented by a token. You'll have to forgive me. I don't remember exactly um, how Palicos are normally handled, uh, but I do know that if you donated to the Kickstarter, you get little figurines to represent the Palicos. Also want to say for the record that this is the absolute coolest Palico. Um, <laughs> homie's got... A literal great sword here. It's pretty awesome. Look, he looks he looks just like his hunter friends. It's adorable. All right, so checking over these guys here, um, I'm gonna go through these one by one here and make sure. There's a lot of little like spiky parts here, so if these things were mishandled, it should be pretty easy to tell if one of them has some broken pieces on him. Also want to make sure that all of them are actually on their bases, because again, that's a huge problem that I've been seeing. Um, hey guys, so I went through them one at a time, and once again, I have to say, they are my copy at least. All of them are in pristine condition. I have gotten absolutely no broken pieces within this box here. We have a couple of decks of cards. Um, I'm gonna lift this thing out here real quick. See if there's anything underneath. Gonna drop everything because apparently I don't know what I'm doing. Um, no, it looks like this is everything. Since um, this figure here was actually a Kickstarter exclusive, I'm guessing that all of these boxes are just going to uh, be this size specifically for all the Kickstarter stuff. Because if you have him at all, then you donated to the Kickstarter because he was a Kickstarter exclusive figure. So. Yeah, I mean, everything in here looks uh, pristine, but again, it could be that it's pristine specifically because this is this was sent out to all the Kickstarter backers, so it would make the most, if they were going to quality check anything, this is the thing that they would quality check. Okay, so the first box is complete. Um, everything, like I said before, we're pretty much at like 99.5% right now. I'm really unhappy about the way the wings look. And I'm unhappy that the Rathalos was off, was off of his base, but we can fix that with a little bit of glue. Let's go ahead and check the next one. Here's we get to the real stuff. Um, so unfortunately, this might be where we hit our first real problem here. Um, you'll see, I haven't touched anything here yet, but there is a huge, and I mean huge, bit of this box that's bumped up. Um, and that's clearly not supposed to happen. So, uh, this box is damaged and it seems like it's because, uh, the figure for the Kushala Daura was probably put in here incorrectly. So what probably happened is, uh, somebody forced the box lid onto here after the figure was put in incorrectly and that forced part of the box to actually break here. So... Uh, our first real problem, I would say, uh, something that can't just be fixed with glue. Um, really unhappy about that. I'd like all these boxes to be in pristine condition because down the line, some people are going to blame me for this and say that I'm the one who broke it. But check the video, nerds. That's totally not my fault, and I have proof. Alrighty, Kushala, Daura, let's go ahead and check you out. I'm going to go ahead and just headcanon that he's such a powerful monster that he's breaking through the box to get to me. That's the that's the cope version of what's going on right now. Are you so freaking cute? Oh god, I love him so much. But anyways, let's let's look objectively here. Let's take away the the coolness factor of this really quick and let's actually check him out because again, um I feel like maybe he's put in here a little bit incorrectly if he's literally 
uh, breaking into the box like this. Okay, guys, so I have them taken completely out here. Um, there's another piece that's supposed to be attached to them, and I'll show you guys what that looks like in just a second. We're going to go ahead and check through for these pieces. like this like blue residue or something stuck to him. Um, of all the figures I expected to be uh, completely connected to their base, this guy, I was actually expecting him, because he's such a huge heavy figure, um, to actually be disconnected a little bit, but he's not. He's he's pretty solidly on there. I'm pretty pretty happy about that. Um, also, for, for size comparison, this may not be capturing completely just how big this guy is. If I put my hand over him, um, and I have some fairly big hands, he's about the size of three of my hands if I were to put them out. So he's, he's a big boy. Um, I'm not sure his exact measurements, but he feels huge. He's probably the biggest figure that I own. Alrighty guys, so I, I put his tail on. His tail seemed to go on fine. It's not like uh, the wing issues. Um, the one thing I do have a problem with though, I don't know if you guys can see this, but his tail in real life, it, it seems like his tail is actually a little bit longer than his base. So I'm going to set him up really quick because I think what this means, if I'm not mistaken, is his tail is actually going to prop him up when I put him on the table. So I'm going to take a look now. Okay, so yes and no. Um, it, it, the tail does actually prop him up a little bit. I'm going to see if I can show you guys here. So the tail does actually sort of prop him up a little bit. And um, I actually thought it was going to be a lot worse than this. But no, it actually seems like the tail propping him up doesn't cause any problems at all. I was a bit worried that the tail was actually too big and would actually uh, make him lopsided. But no, it actually seems like the tail is in literally the exact perfect place it needs to be in to not uh, make him wibbly and wobbly. So uh, kudos to them on that one. That's actually really cool. Go ahead and check out the rest of the stuff in here. We've got the couple of decks of cards. Um, and within the bottom of the box, we have his specific rule book and some other pieces. It seems like these pieces are in perfect condition. Um, I'm not going to bother opening up all of these little things here, because I'm pretty sure if they're sealed like this, they're going to be fine. If there is anything that I find that is wrong with these um, after all of this is over, then I will be more than happy to put a small addendum as a pinned comment. But for right now, I actually think this is perfectly acceptable. All right, gorgeous. You're going back in the box for right now. Um, please don't cause any more damage to my box lid. I really want these to be in as good a condition as possible. Um, I think... If it weren't for this one little pimple right here, uh, this probably would have been like my favorite Steam Forged games uh, box that I own. But sadly, sadly, it's there. All right, let's see what else wants to kill me. All right, so we got ourselves the Noter Gigante. He is such a an important monster that they actually uh, made him a playable character in the the mobile card game. So let's go ahead and see what they got going on here. Okay, let's do a quick pimple check. Nope, seems like this guy was in here correctly. Let's see what he looks like. Okay, so we got our components here. It's kind of weird that they're not underneath the box like they were with Kushala, but that's okay. Oh my God, is that more wings? Oh, please don't tell me I've got to put this guy together too. Oh no. The wings are the one thing you guys haven't been getting right. <laughs> I don't want to put more wings together. All right, let's check his spikes. Um, it looks like one of his spikes is a tiny bit messed up, but I don't even know if it's necessarily messed up or if it's just like there's a little residue on it. I, I'm pretty sure that'll sort itself out. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, so I've spent a few minutes putting it together, and once once again, this might actually be the worst of all of the winged creatures that we've seen so far. So for such a beautiful model, you don't want to see these hideous seams inside of the wings. What the heck? And when I try to push these in, these actually do go in a little bit further. But if I push these in any further than this, then the problem that we have is that the back actually comes up a little bit and you can start seeing seams in the back. So once again, um, I don't know if these boxes maybe just we're in somewhere 
kind of warm and maybe the wings are a little bit warped and that's causing some issues here uh, he looks cool it's a really cool figure i mean i'll admit i kind of regret looking at kushala first because kushala is probably going to be the the mwah, the chef's kiss masterpiece of this entire collection but i mean i just i wish i wish this were just done a little bit better that's it i think i think that actually the reason that i love kushala so much is because he actually came with his wings on, so he looks great. Set of cards. Everything looks fine here. Um, again, it's kind of weird that the other components weren't underneath this like they were with the other ones. So we'll see if there's something else under here. Nope. Just a weird decision. Okay, I, I admit, I feel like a little bit of an idiot here. <laughs> I don't remember how these wings are supposed to come back in here. It didn't come with an insert like the other ones did. <laughs> I'm legitimately gonna have to go back and rewatch my own unboxing to figure out how I'm supposed to put these wings back. What the heck? Why am I so bad at this? Okay, guys, remember when I told that really funny joke about me having to go back and rewatch my own video to see how this is supposed to go back in the box? It would seem that art mimics life, because I legitimately think I'm going to have to go back and rewatch that part of the video to see how these go back. Oh, okay, for the record, this is me being really dumb and not necessarily Steamforged's fault. I mean, it would be nice if there was an insert for it, like there were with the other wings, but... I, I will own up to this. This one's totally on me. Okay, so, I mean, Nergigante looked good. Um, let's go ahead and move on to the next one, I guess. Chaostra, pimple check. No pimples. Okay, let's open her up. Ooh, these are cool. Oh, oh, it's beautiful. This might be the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. The wings are attached to the model. I'm actually so ridiculously hyped about this. Okay, um, it looks like it's solidly on here, but it also seems like there's pretty, I don't know if you guys could even tell, but there's what looks like a glob of glue sticking out here. Um, eh, a little, little bit annoying, but I mean, it's, it's not like a huge thing. I'm looking at all the little spikes and little pointy bits here. Um, the problems of like things being sanded down or things being broken off or missing um it seems like i am just not running into any of those issues personally go ahead and look decks of cards nice let's see if there's anything else under here nope doesn't look like it okay so i mean this is a fairly simple one here um since there's only really like two decks of cards that come with these expansion monsters here. I'm going to just assume that they're all correct. I think if anything was going to be missing, like, literal decks of cards, it would have been the base sets. And again, as far as I can tell, those are completely intact. So, yeah, a little bit of an uneventful one here, but it seems like the Teostra is uh, perfect, 100%. All right, with all those terrifying monsters out of the way, uh, of course, we've got to look at our weapons here, make sure that we stand a chance. Okay, so this is going to be one that we'll probably have to check for missing cards for sure. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the components here. I don't know what these are. They look kind of cool. Um, special little rule book here. This is one that's probably going to be really important, actually, because it's probably going to have... Yeah, it's got um, all of the pieces that I need for building stuff here. Now, uh, keep in mind, once again... Um, there's a lot of this stuff that's going to have to be replaced with eroded stuff because uh, they literally reference things that do not exist in the game as you need them to complete certain things. So, um, I mean, that's just something that, like, there's really no talking your, your way around. <laughs> you gotta, you literally <laughs> you release these with things written on them that do not exist within the game. That that literally takes more effort to mess up, but I digress. Let's go ahead and keep going. Okay, so as far as I can tell, all of the cards are probably here, and I'm saying that because if there were a deck of cards missing, I literally don't know where it would even go. 
Um, unless there's like a deck of like three cards that's supposed to be here that's not here. I'm just going to assume there's not, and I'm going to assume that everything is present and accounted for. Do a figure check. As far as I can tell, light bow gun looks good. Gun lance, my boy. You're looking good. Long sword. Sword's a little bit messed up. Um, I'm going, I'm actually going to say that I think I remember this sword and I think it's supposed to be curved on the end. Um, I'm, again, this could totally be cope. I realize that and I really hope it's not, but I think this is supposed to be bent on the end here. I'll have to double check, but if it is supposed to be bent, uh, congratulations guys, it's bent. Oh man, Hammer Hunter. Can't wait to literally never use you. Hunting horn um, looks good. You can go right there next to the hammer and never be pulled out again. Okay, and Lance. Lance, if you do not know, is my favorite weapon in all of Monster Hunter. So, fairly excited about getting to use this guy here. In fact, uh, if a Lance was included with the base sets, I probably wouldn't even have bothered with the uh arsenal here i mean looking back i probably would have but you know what i'm trying to say okay the lance is where it's at i'm really happy this guy's here there, now the one thing i have to say here um and it's not a, a defect and it's not broken at all but there's just there's this itty bitty teeny tiny piece of plastic actually holding the lance to the hunter i wish they would have made that a little bit more robust uh, if that makes any sense because it's not broken now but if a piece is going to break i think the lance breaking off of this figure is probably the thing i'm the most worried about especially with how much effort it takes to get some of these figures out of these boxes here so um all of these figures look good it looks like I have all of the cards that I'm supposed to. Um, let me go ahead and check underneath really quick. Empty. Yeah, that's totally fine. Um, yeah, I mean, as far as things go, I think we're set. Okay, guys, so fairly uneventful one for this one, too. But I mean, if there's no issues, then there's just no issues. Okay, guys, I double checked all the boxes. It looks like we are done for today. Um, I'm very excited to actually get this to a table and start playing it soon. Um, if I had to go over all of the actual packaging and stuff, I'd say we're at least at like 95% good. I mean, honestly, there's really not much to complain about. And again, I don't know if this is just, you know, I happens to skip a lot of the issues other people had, but I mean, I think the absolute worst thing was the pimple on the uh, Kushala Dara box. I don't know if that's even necessarily worth messaging the company about seeing if I can get another box lid. Um, I might just, you know, because, uh, you, you know, if you never ask, you never get it. Um, and... Yeah, I mean, other than that, I think everything else is pretty good. I don't like that uh, that one Rathalos figure is um, coming off of its base. I don't like how any of the wings were done. That was the second worst thing. But outside of those little issues, um, I actually think this was pretty good. So, you know, uh, read the comments. Uh, see for yourself how everything goes. Uh, teacher assistant Bean is over here trying to knock all my stuff over because there are boxes in the house and he owns all the boxes in the land. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, all I can do is tell you guys what my experience was. And as you guys could see from the video here, my experience is um, pretty much as good as it can get. So I know some people are going to think I'm an op here because I came in to this with like, oh, I'm, oh, I'm really going to grill these guys on their packaging but i mean i just i didn't hit any issues i'm really really happy with the way that this turned out for my stuff personally i do think it's a little shady that they are going to be releasing the next kickstarter um without any real time for anybody to try out this kickstarter but i mean i we're all just gonna donate a dollar and then wait for the pledge manager to open up to actually put in <laughs> any real money so I don't know. Um, I'm not saying that everything here was perfect, but my experience was pretty solid. So if you had a different experience, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Um, otherwise, I will catch you next time. You always in my way all the time.